Some people may often neglect to use money, so that it often results in bad financial conditions. Now is the time for you to care more and try to avoid a number of mistakes in financial management so as not to lose money in the future. Financial management expert Dave Ramsey says you need to stop creating problems with your personal finances before your finances run low. This even causes expenditure to be out of control and not balanced with the amount of income. Here are 10 mistakes in using money to avoid, according to Ramsey as quoted from Yahoo Finance. 1. Don't try to deal with your biggest debt yet. When you are in debt with a lot of loans, getting yourself free seems impossible. That's why Ramsey suggests the debt snowball method. Rather than start paying off the loan with the highest interest rate, Ramsey suggests paying off the loan with the lowest balance first, and paying off the minimum amount for other debts. The idea is that every small victory inspires you to tackle bigger challenges. 2. Don't try to justify a frivolous purchase. If you want to be financially independent, you have to find out where you can cut corners. That means, no more eating out or playing outside or shopping for new clothes. With only a small budget, most people learn that they are not as tight as they think they are. Debt isn't the problem, it's the symptom. Debt is the result of buying things I don't need and don't like. 3. Don't buy a new car. Buying the latest model car of any kind is a waste. Ramsey said no one should buy a new car unless they have a net worth of more than $1 million. Most of the value of a car will be lost as soon as it is purchased. 4. Do not use a credit card if you can pay with cash. Ramsey says you don't need fancy software to help you save. Once you've calculated your monthly budget, withdraw that much cash from the bank and separate it into envelopes for individual needs like gas, groceries, entertainment, and anything else you need. It may sound old-fashioned, but the envelope system forces you to think about your expenses. It's easy to swipe a credit card and forget about it while cash lets you see how much money you've spent. 5. Don't spend money if you can invest. Ramsey said wage stagnation had played a significant factor, but that was no excuse to let consumers off the hook. Americans have a spending problem, he said. You won't benefit from a thriving economy by consuming more of it. However, invest to bring wealth. 6. Don't choose a fancy college. You are at the top of your class, so why don't you attend the best schools? Ramsey says the most important thing is getting a decent education without taking out a loan, not the prestige of the school. That's the biggest lie we've ever believed. Where you go to school has a correlation with your future success. That statement is almost zero correlation. 7. Don't splurge after you graduate. When you graduate school and find your first job, you may feel like you have money to spend. But don't do that and think about the mentality that makes every penny count. By limiting your spending and buying necessities cheaply, you can clear up any debt you may have. 8. Don't try to get rich too fast. While happy to get a sudden windfall, Ramsey says it's better to build wealth slowly and sustainably. 90% of millionaires I meet do it gradually. I'm not against making money fast, but there are all sorts of problems that come with it when it comes quickly. How often do we see young athletes earn money and it destroys their lives? said Ramsey. 9. Don't buy a ring at a jewelry store. You want to impress your partner, 
but you don't have to start by accumulating debt. When asked how much we can spend to buy an engagement ring, he also said, buying diamonds at a jewelry store usually reaches three months of our salary. For me, it's better for one month. Diamonds are like furniture. They have a huge market. So where you buy them is going to be very important. If you can buy from a diamond dealer a relative who knows about diamonds or even to a diamond pawn shop, you can get a ring at a very low price. A quarter. And it's still a good diamond, he said. 10. Don't give your child an allowance. Ramsey said financial literacy comes from home and it is parents who can cause their children to fail if they give them some pocket money. According to him, when children are old enough to be able to work, then it is time to educate children about finances. If they want to earn money, it means they have to work. If they don't work, it means they can't earn money.